Hey guys, hello and welcome to this YouTube series. I am Manisha Gupta and uh, the series that we are doing right now is blockchain and cryptocurrencies. We already have spoken about blockchain and Bitcoin. In this series, we are talking about Ethereum and Ether. Now, Ethereum is the open source blockchain which runs smart contracts. But Ether is what clearly has been in focus for last many days now. When you look at the prices, it has gained up by nearly 65% in this year in 2021. And this is on top of 450% gains that we saw in 2020 also. When you look at the market capitalization, that stands at $136 billion. Ether's all-time high is $1,448. And when it comes to the total supplies, that at this point in time stand at 114.15 million. But remember, Ether supply can be scheduled higher uh, from where we are standing right now, the Ether supply measured in the three to six months time frame has hit a five year lows at around 5.07 million Ethers. Uh, the supply has been constant, but in the last few months, we've seen demand run up quite strongly and that has led to this bottleneck in the markets there. The reason that you have seen the Ether prices run up so strongly. Let's talk about uh, a bit more about Ethereum because before we talk about Ether yet again, and as I said to you that Ethereum is an open source blockchain, it uh, runs on it runs smart contracts uh, on Ethereum. You can write codes that controls digital values and it runs as programmed and it is accessible anywhere in the world at any point in time. Ethereum also is a technology that lets you send cryptocurrencies to anyone for a small amount of fees. It powers applications that everybody can use and no one can take down. That is the kind of security that Ethereum provides to you. It also is programmable, so you can uh, you know, use lots of digital assets onto this. Even Bitcoins can be used on Ethereum as a blockchain, so it allows usage of other cryptocurrencies also. It is a marketplace of financial services, games, apps that nobody can steal and no one can take down. So uh, repeating again that there is a lot of security that Ethereum as a blockchain offers to you. In the Indian markets as well and other countries also, Ethereum is being accepted quite widely because of this open source blockchain and because it lets you write programs, store values, etc. The use for this one clearly has been on the positive side. Ether is the cryptocurrency that trades on Ethereum. It's uh, built on the Ethereum as a blockchain. It is decentralized, it is global, it is meant as a unit of currency for on a peer-to-peer -peer transactions that you can do and also on the payment network. Also, the supply is not capped as of Bitcoin. Uh, the community that is the Ethereum community can schedule, can decide within itself on how much Ethereum do they want to introduce into the markets. Uh, there is no company or bank that can decide to print ETH, that is Ethereum, or uh, change the terms of use onto this one. You can, you only need an internet connection, by the way, and a wallet to accept Ethereum, transfer it, buy it, sell it, or hold it for that matter. You don't need access to a bank account and you definitely, uh, uh, you know, to, uh, to access the payments when it comes to Ethereum. It is divisible in 18 decimal points. So you don't really have to buy a one full Ethereum. You can go down to a fraction of 18 decimals, meaning that you can buy Ethereum as low as 0 0.0000018 zeros one uh, when you want to buy Ethereum. You can buy it in those decimals as well. A lot of people have been asking on why should they be buying Ethereum, why should they be buying any cryptocurrency for that matter. But since we're talking only about Ethereum right now, well, it lets you pay transaction fees using the Ethereum, especially on various uh, uh, blockchains. Uh, when it is inter blockchains, Ethereum can be used to pay for, for apps, for buying products or merchandise. The digital, digital store of value as well is what we are looking at in sense of cryptocurrencies right now. There are a lot of whale accumulators, buyers, investors, people uh, putting a bit of their portfolio, uh, including these cryptocurrencies as well. So it clearly seems to be coming in as a storage of value. You can also uh, create new kinds of assets and trade them on Ethereum and that is where Ether would be used as a currency. These are known also as tokens. So one is the cryptocurrency, the other is tokens. When it comes to tokens, well, that is where Ethereum really stands tall in sense of its usage. People have tokenized currencies, the fiat traditional currencies also. They've done 
real estate, art, uh, people itself, objects, etc. So these are all the tokens that people have started using on Ethereum. Uh, Ether also uh, going forward, the markets believe that especially with the latest uh, uh, you know, notification that has come in from the US controller of office where they have to talked about banks using uh, uh, or open to use into blockchain in that sense ethereum also stands quite tall you know when we talk, talk about bitcoin it's it's only a cryptocurrency but when we talk about ethereum and ether there is much more to it and is the reason that we have seen such a huge run up come in for the ether prices in uh, in this year and in the previous year as well we of course will continue to bring to you many more other currencies but when it talks about ethereum I had spoken to Vitalik Buterin, this was way back in 2016 when he had said that he created Ethereum before he turned 20 years of old and how he sees Ethereum really building up as an internet of things on what it did to people is what perhaps blockchain and cryptocurrencies would do to your life in perhaps a decade to come from here. Let's listen into that as well. I uh, first uh, joined the kind of cryptocurrency space, or it was then just called the Bitcoin space back in 2011. Mm. I found out about Bitcoin on the internet. I thought it was uh, very interesting. And over time, I kind of got more and more into it. I started reading about it, writing about it, uh, building software for it. About two years later, while I was in university, I realized that I was already spending like 30 or 40 hours a week on it, and so I dropped out, went into the space full time. And I uh, spent uh, quite a bit of time looking at all the various projects that people were trying to do in what was back then the Bitcoin space.